Marcellus, mm. you tell me, mm. is Sunday a must-win game for them boys? No, it's not a must-win game. And I hate when people want to use hyperbole when you need to be literal in certain situations. Like, I don't even That's need fair. it to be hyperbolic. That's Just fair. be real right now, Jalen Smith. What are you trying to go out there and motivate others through some falseness? We know this is not a must-win. This is more of a, it would be nice to win to keep pace with the Philadelphia Eagles but not a must win. You know, the statement is, in case of emergency, break, break glass. glass. <laughs> not, well, in case of desire, in case of want, break glass. And that's what he's doing right now. He's breaking the glass. How many times are you going to get a chance to break the glass? Just once. Because then we get into what you talked about the other day. Players only meetings. Mm -hmm. It sounds like one of those. Like, you're going over there and hitting the emergency switch. We must win. What happens? Let's just say that you don't win this game. What is going to be the motivational message going forward if we just lost the must win in terms of the piercing of their psyche and confidence? So you ain't got to lie to me, big dog. We know we can lose this game and still achieve our goals, so don't go out there and lie to me with hyperbole. My dog, I don't think Jalen Smith is lying. Oh, he lying. When he says he must win, I think the Cowboys, they must win. Here's why. The Cowboys are facing several different ailments. They have a lack of talent. Specifically, it's huh? some positions. Oh, okay. Some positions, oh, okay. defensive backs particularly. Okay. They're full of emotions. And in the game of football, you can't really wear your emotions on your sleeve. They're fa they're, they, they're, they currently have several different ailments, but there's a cure. Mm. There's a cure. You can't go to the doctor's office and get it. Can't get no, I can't go to the, the, to, the, to the herbal supplement person and get it. Oh, can't go down to awesome. Venice and try to get some of these uh, natural. And No, no, no. It's mm. winning. Mm. Winning is the cure. Winning is the cure for every problem the Dallas Cowboys has. Their lack of running to the ball and how much we're criticizing them for it. Their lack of having a competent defensive coordinator. Ooh. Their questions surrounding Mike McCarthy as head coach. Ooh. Their questions surrounding Jerry Jones. Their questions surrounding Andy Dalton. Their questions surrounding Ezekiel Elliott can all be solved by winning. Mm. Jalen Smith understands, hey, bruh, if we go out there and win, we don't have to deal with all this, man. Mm. If we go out there and win, we don't have to deal with all of the nonsense and the naysayers, at least for one week. I'll also say this. This is why they must win, Marcellus. They haven't played winning football all season. They have two wins. Who has in that division? <laughs> That's fair. I mean, come on. They have two wins, yeah. but they haven't played winning football. Okay. Your first win against the Atlanta Falcons in which you trail by 20. There's a 1 in 450, 1 in 450 chance that you will come back because we've seen mm. all these teams, and you, Cowboys, somehow miraculously come back because the Falcons trick it off. Then your other win is against the New York Giants, who are 1 in 6. Don't do that. You haven't played winning football. So, for me, it is a must-win for the Cowboys. Yeah, but look... Dak did this, too. I think he gave us a must-win, then he got hurt. But this whole must-win when you know you're playing against a team that you should beat and a <laughs> team that you have beat, what they beat in Washington seven of the last eight times they played them. Like, it's like Philadelphia yesterday going, we must win, we must beat the Giants. Yeah, you're now beating them eight straight. So, come on, man, if you're really going to take me there, let's go there. I don't like this because it's the same guy – you know how it is. When someone wants to be the rah-rah guy, the first thing you do is read his stripes. You look and say, oh, that's Jalen Smith. Oh, he got paid. Oh, he's a good linebacker. Oh, but lately, uh, he hasn't been that same guy. You start looking at the film without him watching you, but you're watching the film in your own mind's eye. You're like, is this the same Jalen Smith who was chasing down DeAndre Hop Hopkins in the, in the loss to Arizona? And let, let Demarcus Lawrence run past him, and Jalen Smith talking about, oh, yeah, you know what? Even me, I need to be held accountable. Wait a minute. So on moments when it's actually time to go out there and prove it, to actually do it, to let your words go and speak through action, you're not leading through that. But then you want to sit here in a press conference or in a Zoom meeting and sit there and say, we must win. Players can see through that. That's why I'm not feeling it. Let me I'll tell you this, because I think you'll know this better than I and all the fans sitting at home. Everybody in the NFL is talented. Hint, everybody's talented, but not everybody is confident. Okay, okay. okay. Confidence mm -hmm. is the difference between you being a superstar and then to me, and you being okay. Why do I say that? 2014, I believe it was, because I was still playing back then, we played Odell Beckham. New York Giants. It was, I want to say, week seven of the season before he had made the three-finger catch. Okay. Marcellus Odell averaged four catches a game, 44 yards. In all his games before making the three-finger catch, he only had two touchdowns. In the seven games after making the three-finger catch, Odell averaged eight catches a game, 88 yards, and had nine touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Same amount of time. 
Same player, same quarterback, same running back, same offensive line. What was the difference? Odell had confidence. If the Dallas Cowboys lose to the Washington football team and the Cowboys become the worst team in the worst division in all of football, mm -hmm. when they take the field, Marcellus, they might not expect to lose, but they surely will not expect to win. Mm. And I think that matters in football. Every now and then you take the field and you like, oh, I know beyond the shadow of a doubt we will win. Yeah. Then you take the field and you like, yeah, if we play well, my coach, my rookie year, Pat Shermer. And I got another story for y'all, but I'm going to tell this hey, one right God now. Dang. Pat Shermer, <laughs> bro, every, I, I was hurt. I tore my MCL, so I would be on the, on the uh, elliptical every morning and Pat Shermer would come in and hey, work out. I, yeah, I try to get healthy. Get on the field. Trying to get healthy. Get on the field. So, Pete, every day he would come and be like, hey, Acho, we can beat these boys. Mm. We can be he was telling me is if he needed to tell himself. Oh, I like, Because I like. he didn't have the confidence that yeah. we could really win. Okay. If the Cowboys don't beat the football team, they will start taking the field with doubt in their mind. And doubt is that first sign of weakness. Soon as you put on a uniform as a Cowboy, or as an Eagle, or as a football team, or as a Giant, you're losing confidence in this NFC East. Nobody has full confidence. They're That's all fair. playing losing football. That so is Therefore, fair. their confidence has waned. I'm going to give it to you like this. I don't like what Jalen Smith is saying if he were my teammate, and I don't like what you're saying How? right now. Because it seems like you want to be absolved of the criticism so we can get back to winning, so we can get back to being confident. I caught the steps in terms of how you want to play this psychologically. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that because... I don't need the outside forces and outside conversation to be my motivation. It needs to be internal. Here's the thing. You're saying, look, winning cures all. Yeah. Yeah, but is it curing you in terms of illness or is it just covering up the symptoms? And guess what? If Ezekiel Elliott doesn't ball out, uh -huh. if... Demarcus Lawrence doesn't get sacks. If we don't see Jalen Smith running sideline to sideline, but to win the game, you're going to be like Carson Wentz, feeling like, oh, we won, we're all good. No, we have a lot of issues. We need more than medicine. We need surgery. My dad used to give it to me like this. I used to run in the house all the time. As you could tell, I used to snack a lot. Like, I would have a big entree and some snacks. I was a Cheetos, Hawaiian Punch kind of kid. And my dad... When we didn't have the snacks, I run in there. We didn't have a pantry just next to the fridge, stuff on the, on the cupboard. And I'm like, Daddy, I'm hungry. He's like, okay, there's something in there to eat. And I'm like, no, Daddy, I'm hungry. What I was really saying is what I want to eat mm -hmm. is not in here. Mm. My daddy quickly taught me a life lesson. He's like, I want you to know the difference between necessity and desire. That's facts. Okay? You walking in here looking for stuff and acting like, oh, my God, what I want's not there, so now I'm going to act like I need something. Uh-uh. Be careful, Jalen Smith, because real cats in that locker room going to catch you and separate the real from the fake. But I don't know if it's fake to say it's that. Fake. Do they need to win? Be real, Acho. If they're I, I, a game and a half behind the Philadelphia Eagles and they get to play the Eagles twice, are they behind? Statistically, I, I know. Statistically, okay. they're still in the fight. Yeah. But, Marcellus, if you, the Washington football team is a bottom four, bottom five team in football. Yes. Consensus agreement. Agree. If you lose to the Washington football team, you have wins over the worst team in foot, second worst team in football in the Falcons, mm -hmm. the third worst team in football in the Giants, mm -hmm. and you would have lost to the fourth worst team in football in the Washington football team. What does that make you? Oh, you, know, you feel me? I, if, no, like, if, I if, don't. No, no, no. If, if you're running a race versus the slowest people in the world, yeah. and you lose no. to all of them, yeah. you kind of got to look around and be like, man, yeah. what does that make me? The slowest person in the world. If the only people you beat in this race with the slowest people in the world is the first slowest and the second slowest, well, guess what, Marcellus? What? You're the third slowest. <laughs> if the Dallas Cowboys only have a victory, yeah. and only have victories versus two of the worst three teams in football. That makes them one of the worst teams in football. It is a must win because otherwise you are in an abyss, not an abyss. Otherwise, you, you are the sum of the people you hang out with. Okay. And if you hanging out with all these sorry teams, what that make you? Sorry. But, but your same logic, let's apply it fully. Okay. Okay, so we're only saying it's a must win because we're right now behind in our division this much. Absolutely. And we're trying to keep pace with that team, the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm -hmm. And if we lose this week to Washington, who we beat seven of the last eight times, then we are super sorry. Not just sorry, super, super sorry, sorry because we lost to Washington. Correct. Who else lost to Washington? <laughs> the same team you're talking about, you must win so you can keep pace with. It's a psychological tunnel that you're trying to take me in, but it's a dead end. Jalen, shut up and go out there and ball out, and then I'm going to be a believer. All right?